Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. Yes, we are gonna dive into the Gacha once again, but this time around, we're gonna take a look at the four different confirmed five star gachas available. Um, that is, if you actually have the capabilities or the money to actually purchase the Singing Stone pack with the ticket from the Singing Stone store. Now, as of the time that I took this screenshot, it shows that the Singing Stone pack still had 11 days, but that was when it was first launched. So, um, as of today that I'm recording, it should be left with, I think, about 6 or 7 days left um, before it expires. And of course, definitely for the special packs that comes with the Nyankuji tickets at a discounted price, sadly to say, um, those would have expired by now. And of course, we are still waiting upon the second round of discounted sets of um, Singing Stone packs that usually comes with the Nyan Kuji event. Alright, so let's take a look at the Gacha event itself and hopefully um, I'll be able to pull something nice out of this four Gacha banners as you can see here and they are all sorted out once again by according to Macross series. So SDF Macross, Macross 7, Macross Frontier and of course Macross Delta. So we're going to take a look at all the 5 available episode plates within each banner and to see which one is actually more worthwhile of your single ticket that you can get um, with that singing stone pack. Of course you don't really want to end up wasting that ticket on uh, episode plate that you may not wish to use in the faith uh, in the future because well the stats of the episode plate may not be on par as of this competitive level that Utah Macross is currently in. And of course there is also the choice of a fan favorite diva um maybe may Min Mei for you, Milane, Basara and of course Ranka, Cheryl and of course any of the Valkyrie girls as well. So if you're just trying your luck to get your favorite divas episode plate just go ahead and pull whichever banner that has your favorite diva within it uh, the stats of the episode plate will not be a matter towards you and of course well let's say for example if your uh, your favorite diva is Cheryl Gnome from Macross Frontier of course you will probably want to take a look at which costume points these episode plates provide in case um, you might not want to waste uh, on it because you've already unlocked the costume um, with other gachas available in the past and of course you might want to use your ticket for something else so let's take a look at SDF Macross first and let's take a look at Min Mei's 5 episode plates um, presented within this gacha itself so straight off the bat we see wonderful illustration images of the 5 episode plates uh, available for Min Mei's gacha so let's take a look at all the episode plates and the improved detailed information versions of these episode plates since the update for version 3.00. So this one, this episode plate now shows off 3719 total points. Uh, if you recall in the past when we had gachas of um, such manner, Min Mei's episode plates tend to not be of a very good um, status when it comes to stats and all this. Um, but there was one time period when Min Mei had better episode plates available for pool as compared to some popular series like maybe Macross 7 and Macross Frontier. Alright, so 3719. So focusing on Soul and a bit more on Charm, which is pretty fantastic. Of course, you always want to take note of who else is equipable with this episode plate because sometimes Min Mei may not be your favorite, but maybe Kaname, Cheryl, or Milane. All right, so center skill, units, life, and support is boosted by 20%. Now, not the best center skill out there. So let's take a look at the active skill and life skill to see whether um, it's actually going to improve your want or need for this episode plate. Alright, so active skill certainly to say not an S rank, but life recovery of 30%, not the best recovery skill as well. So, so far this episode plate is starting to look like a downer, but that's okay. Um, life skill, score and damage, so it has a pretty good life skill when it comes to high score challenges, so if you don't have a hard element episode plate with this skill, I think this plate is pretty decent enough 
to add into your collection if you maybe want to improve your personal score. So yeah, I guess if you're a Mimei fan, this is definitely one of those episode plates you might want to consider trying to aim for. Alright, last panel, sadly to say no special notes attached to this one, so I guess we let's put it somewhere in the mid-tier of ones as of now in terms of Min Mei's episode ranking. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, here we go. So no special notes attached to this episode plate. Sadly to say, 3,666. You see the satanic number there, but okay, whatever. <laughs> um, focusing more on voice and of course a bit more on charm. Now definitely because this is a, this is an old episode plate, therefore the total score is definitely lower. So initially in the past when we saw this episode plate, it was maybe around 3,000 or so. It wasn't really hitting the 3,200 or 3,300 total score mark. So yeah. So center scale, not an S rank as well. Units total is boosted by 20% up, so that's kind of a bummer. Alright, active skill, it is an S rank, but it's not meant for high score purposes. So for 20 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So definitely an active skill meant to be used for practicing your songs. Live skills, score and repeat. So immediately when you hear score and repeat, it means this episode play is meant for long duration songs. Alright, so at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds, uh, your score is boosted by 80% up. And of course, for every. No, it should be read as actually for every 30 seconds, it will activate for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. That's pretty much what score and repeat does. Alright, so let's move on since we already know that it doesn't come with any special notes. So I would guess this is definitely lower than the first episode plate that we saw. So definitely the first episode plate in this whole listing is definitely the best so far out of the 5. Alright, so 3536, not as high as the second one that we just saw. So definitely not an episode plate you want to achieve or attain uh, because definitely the score the, the stats on the episode play is definitely not going to help you out when in terms of high score challenges. Center skill S rank, so pretty interesting center skill. Unit total boosted by 30% up, so definitely not the best percentage we've seen so far, but I guess uh, it's pretty decent for its um, era of time when this episode play was released. Alright, so active skills, it is an S rank, but sadly to say it's not meant to be used for high score purposes, so therefore this episode plate is definitely on the lowest end so far. Alright, for 20 seconds, you'll have an easier time tapping notes. Life skill, well, it is a score and up, which is a high score um, boosting life skill, but the percentage is definitely going to be low. So. Uh, at the 40 second marks for 12 seconds, your score is boosted by 50% up. Even though it does provide some kind of life skill, um, high score achieving uh, effect, but because of its rank and its low percentage rating, uh, it's definitely not something you will use uh, in the end. Alright, so but it does come with a life recovery special note. So I guess. Maybe if you're like the Macross artist that always plays Uta Macross uh, once a week on Uta, not once a week, twice, once in, once in two weeks, yeah, on uh, uh, Macross Gatomaranai, the uh, showroom show where they promote Uta Macross on, um, where which is hosted by Minori, uh, Naobo, and Ken. And of course, sometimes they have special guests where they come on board to play as well. I guess episode plates like these will help uh, our artist friends who don't play rhythm games often to survive the song itself and of course to show the audience a good time even though they can't really play rhythm games. But yeah, so <laughs> I guess you know what I mean. This kind of episode plates will definitely save you uh, if you're playing um, extreme difficulty songs for the first time in your life and are trying to uh, improve your skills upon music games, these episode plates will definitely help you sustain to live longer and practice more when it comes to making mistakes. Alright, so let's move on um, to the fourth episode plate and let's see how far, how far it ranks up in terms of all five. So 3,649, not the highest total score, um, focusing more on charm and pretty well balanced stats all around. And of course, center skill S rank pretty nice, unit's life is boosted by 40% up. So the center skill is not meant for high score purposes, but 
probably looking towards um, survivability in terms of practicing your songs and all that kind of stuff so let's take a look at the active skill wow all three skills are s ring so life recovery 50 percent up so like i said um with the uh, center skill focusing more towards um, survivability sure enough the active skill also helps to make you survive a bit longer when it comes to playing difficult songs i suppose life skill it is a life skill high score type so overall i think this is definitely the best min may play there is in terms of skill as of now but not the best in terms of stats but so far i think this one would definitely rank higher than the very first one that we saw so yeah all right so life skill score and repeat so immediately when you hear score and repeat it's exactly the same thing as the first episode plate that we saw um so definitely this episode plate is definitely ranking way higher than the first episode plate we we, we took a, take took a look uh, within this banner itself all right so no special notes attached to it so definitely still way better than the first episode plate itself all right so let's take a look at the last episode plate to see whether is it anywhere closer to mid tier among all the main plates shown in this banner 3675 somewhere there in terms of mid tier range well balanced that all around pretty nice spread out all right center skill not an s rank but uh, units total is boosted by 20 percent up let's take a look to see whether it's center skill or an active or active skill sorry i apologize for that active skill and life skill is worth um taking note of so active skill life recovery of 50 percent pretty decent uh, even though it's not meant for high score purposes score and repeat hmm, we have pretty uh, pretty a lot of episode plays within min may site where it has score and repeat um it's just that the, ep uh, the episodes element is probably different from each other we have the blue one and we have the pink one so that's pretty nice so let's see no special notes attached to it so i guess this episode play and this one are pretty much about there it's just that the stats are focused uh, pretty differently this one is more focused on charm while the other one behind here is pretty well balanced so it can be used for any song uh, out there that is of pink element you know so hmm that's pretty i'll i'll pair this two about the same tier um definitely way higher than this one although this one has the better best stat all around uh and of course you know it has that score and damage life skill which is pretty decent for both short and long songs so mm. okay so i guess min may has three awesome plates that you can actually get from this whole banner uh, except for this one and this one these two are pretty terrible so it's two terrible plates out of five so that's pretty much your rate for macross uh, sdf macross first generation so if you're considering pulling min May's plate um, you just have to think about probably which plate you're hoping to get and of course hoping to get costume points for whichever costume that you're probably lacking points of to unlock for min May. you know so take note of all the costumes available um, you can see her costumes are all within the illustrations itself so just pay close attention to that and of course uh, good luck if you're pulling from sdf macross all right so let's move on this is going to be a very long video because there is well there is 20 plates to take a look at so <laughs> let's move on to macross 7 all right so straight away 3572 not the highest total as compared to what min may has uh even though this episode plate is somewhat new it's it's it did come out within after the first year uh, of Utah Macross. So, um, yeah, so focusing on soul, pretty decent soul stats, and of course, a bit more higher on charm. Uh, center skill, not an act, not a high score ch uh, challenge or improvement skill. Units, soul is boosted by 60% up. It could get higher. Uh, I think 90% was the highest that we've seen so far. Active skill. Well, for 20 seconds, you'll have an easier time tapping notes. So I guess it's a life skill support score and damage. So immediately when you hear score and damage, we all know what it does already by now. Hopefully you guys are well versed with all the skills of the episode plates after watching countless of my Utah Macross gacha videos. 
Um, no special notes attached to it, so I would guess, to me personally, I would rank this episode plate on the lower end because 3,572 for total at this era of Mutam Across is not exactly uh, wonderful, it's pretty low. So let's move on and see whether there's anything else that's wonderful within the Macross 7 lineup. So immediately we get a higher total score, 3,654. Um, focusing on soul and voice, but more on soul. Um, yeah, so center skill, S rank. Units total and support is boosted by 20% up. So pretty decent center skill. Hopefully she has a nice active skill. Alright, so both active and live skills are S rank as well. So immediately this episode plate of Milane is definitely way better than the first one we saw. Um, so for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. Pretty decent active skill, not meant to be used for high score. So I guess it's more of a life skill support. In of course, straight away we can see life skill has an S rank, and it's a score and repeat. So immediately we know what the score, uh, the, the effects are. So let's see whether it has any special notes. So sadly to say, nothing special attached to this episode play itself. So, but in terms of stats and skills, overall it beats the first episode plate present on this banner already. So let's move on, another Milane plate. So Milane gets more line light instead of Basara, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, 3473, definitely way lower than the first episode plate we saw. Oh, this is horrendous. Why is Macross 7 doing so poorly in terms of um, the kind of episode plates available for pools? So 2,158 for voice for, and pretty much well balanced stats around the other two. Center skill, voice up, 60% up. Active skill, live recovery of 30%. Uh, live skill, score up, so it's meant for short duration songs. At the 32 second mark, for 14 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. So, even though it, it is an live skill support episode play, um, the stats and the skills itself is kind of a bummer and it has no special notes attached to this episode play. So, I immediately to my mind, this episode play is definitely lower than the first one that we've seen. So, so far, we've only got one episode play that is actually worth pulling for out of three. So that's kind of bummer, hopefully Basara can save the day. So immediately when we see this episode plate, we know for sure this episode plate is one of the better few. Uh, I've mentioned it in the past, this is definitely one of Macross 7's best episode plates out there. Even though the total stats is not as fantastic, 3577, focusing on Soul and of course a bit more on Charm. Center skill. Unit Soul is boosted by 90% up, so the center skill alone is fantastic. 90% is the best we have seen so far. Active skill, for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. So this, immediately we can tell that this episode play, even though it has somewhat of a mid-tier total score, it is definitely one of the better few uh, star element or yellow element episode plates that is for high score challenges and it's definitely one of the better few episode plates uh, out there that is used for active skills in terms of achieving high score so yeah uh, it's even better than Milane's old episode plates so definitely one of the better episode plates you can look for in Macross 7. Live skill supports well it is definitely meant to be used as a center instead of a live skill but it does have an S rank live skill. At the 35 second mark for 12 seconds your combos do not break. So if you use it as a live skill support this episode plate definitely will help you practice your songs because it has that combo preventive breaking ability um, you know, in case you need, if you want to like um, retain your combos for mission purposes and all that kind of stuff. Let's see, any special notes attached to it? Yes, it does! So immediately this episode jumps right to the top in terms of the most wanted episode played in Macross 7 banner because it has this um, attack note which you usually see during the Valkyrie attack phase uh, of a live itself. So top tier, number one plate to look out for within the five. Let's see the last one. Can it compare to this one? 
And oh, it actually can. So if you guys are familiar with Basara's Battlefield episode plates, this is actually one of them. Even though it doesn't have the best total score out there. Um, but when this episode plate was first released, it was the better few episode plates that Basara has ever gotten. Alright, so for well balanced stats all around, it seems like it's a trend, I guess, that the last episode plate within the banner would have like a well spread out stat. <laughs> I don't know, it might be just Dana's habit. So S rank for center skill, star element, songs, units total will be boosted by 35% up. That's pretty decent. So I guess this is another uh, center skill activated episode plate meant for high score purposes. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. And A rank for 10 seconds, the score is boosted by 100% up. So this and the previous one are definitely competing against each other. Same like the Macross SDF banner. The last two episode plates seem to complement each other in terms of ones and uh, best to pull. You know, so life skill support at the 77, 75 second mark for 10 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So does this episode plate actually have special notes attached to it? No! So it is not exactly on par compared to SDF Macross where both Mimei's last two episode plates were pretty much um, on similar level on competitive terms in terms of which one you want more this one is pretty obvious um, I would name this as first episode plate that you definitely want to look out for second one will be this one then of course third will be followed by this Milane's plate fourth would be this one and of course the last one is this horrendous uh, <laughs> episode plate which is terrible because of its stats not because of the illustration in fact um, the illustration is very adorable. <laughs> Alright, so other than that, if you guys are just pulling in terms of costume points, please take note of the five different costumes available for each episode plates. Um, and of course, which one you definitely want in terms of costume points if you are not that bothered about the episode plate stats and skills. Alright, so let's move on to Macross Frontier. Let's try and do this as quickly as we can. I would like to keep this video as short as possible. Alright, so first plate belongs to Cheryl. Alright, no special notes attached to it. 3758. So far, Macross Frontier is definitely within the running up of best total score on episode plate so far. Um, focusing a lot on charm and a bit of voice. Center skill, star, element, plates, total boosted by 30% up. Even though it's not an S rank, it's pretty decent um, in terms of cent uh, center skill. Active skill, life recovery of 50%. And of course, score and damage. So I guess if you need um, life skill support episode plate for high score purposes that has pretty decent total score, you might definitely want to aim for this episode plate belonging to Cheryl. Sadly to say, no episode, no special notes attached to this episode plate. Uh, so it's it's still somewhere within the top tier range of episode plates. So let's keep this somewhere at number two for now. All right, let's move on. Belongs to Ranka, three thousand six hundred and ten. So far, not too bad on terms of total score. A bit more focus on voice and of course a bit on soul. Center skill, units, voice, voice is boosted by 60% up. As you can see, as I'm trying to rush, I'm fumbling away. <laughs> Active skill, life, recovery of 30%. And of course, score up means it belongs to a short duration song. So, no special notes attached to this. So far, this episode plate is definitely lower than Cheryl's in terms of um, stats and skills. So definitely the first episode plate belong to Cheryl will be definitely higher than this one. So this one might be within the number 3 or number 4 slot uh, overall. So let's move on to the next one. Alright, belongs to Ranka as well. 3, 5, 6, 2 total. Focusing a lot on voice and a bit on charm. Alright, center skill. Well, the Inochi or blue element or life element plates total is boosted by 30% up. Alright, active skill, life recovery of 30% and of course the life skill support for score repeat means it's used for a long duration song. So, so far the two episode plates that belong to Ranka, um, their stats are pretty decent but their skill levels are not that fantastic 
Um, both are meant to be used for life uh, skill support. Um, so I guess they are pretty okay. So both plates are will will I guess there will be two plates within the third or fourth position unless there's one episode plate that comes into um, the worst case scenario. <laughs> Alright, so no spa no special notes attached to this episode plate. Alright, moving on to the third one. Lots of love for Ranka. Hi. Okay, so 3,517, the lowest total scores we've seen so far for Macross Frontier. Focusing on Soul and pretty well balanced stats on Voice and Charm. Center skill, Soul Up. Soul Up boosted by 60% up. So pretty okay center skill. I hopefully don't want to see this episode plate being used for a high score purpose. And luckily it isn't. So <laughs> active skill for 20 seconds, you'll have an easier time tapping notes. Life skill support score repeat. So it's a yellow element episode plate meant to be used for a long duration song. So far, all of Ranka's episode plate are on the same tier level. Uh, I guess the top one that you might want to pull so far is that first Cheryl episode plate, unless the last episode plate it ends up being better. So no special notes attached to this one. Let's move on to the last Frontier episode plate. Alright, 3, 4, 6, 2. Ooh, this is horrendous. This is the worst total score we've seen out of all the 5 Macross Frontier episode plates so far. But as always, Dana has a trend, or rather, yeah, it's a trend, where the last episode plate is all well spread out in terms of stats. Uh, it seems to have an S rank center skill, so I don't know. Maybe the skills will definitely pull this plate slightly higher than all the Ranka episode plates. Let's take a look. So, Love Element Songs units total is boosted by 35% up. Active skill, ooh, it's a high score achieving purpose episode plate. So, 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Life skill support, uh, well, your li when your life drops below 40%, uh, for 12 seconds, you will receive half amount of damage. So the life skill isn't exactly what you're here for. You're actually here for the center skill and the active skill. So, but with a total score that low, I don't know. Would you really want to use this in a, as a high score achieving episode plate? I'm sure there are better plates out there than this one. So no special notes attached to it. All right, so how would I rank all five episode plates in my cross frontier? All three Ranka plates will be on the same tier itself. Um, if I want to compare, this this current Cheryl episode plate that we are looking at is definitely going to be higher than all three of the Ranka plates. And of course, the top number one plate you want to pull is this one. So one, two, and all the rest of the Ranka plates are at number three. So. There isn't exactly a the worst. There isn't exactly a worst episode plate you can pull out of this whole set of Macross Frontier episode plate list. All are pretty decent, decent episode plates. So, um, I guess Macross Frontier fans, uh, all you have to do is just look out for the best costume points you will want to try and obtain. And of course, uh, if you're a hardcore player, I think you might want to consider maybe. Another Macross series that has better episode plate lineups like Macross 7. Uh, if you're looking for center episode plates, uh, Macross 7 has two good ones available, but that's two out of five. So that's kind of a really low rate chance of pulling it out uh, unless you have some kind of godly luck. Alright, so let's move on to Macross Delta, the final one finally and see which Macross series has the best um, selection of uh, episode plates for you to pull out from. So we start off with Freya, 3,534, um, pretty mid-tier total score, focusing on voice and a bit on soul. Center skill, your unit's voice is boosted by 20% up. Wow, 90%. For center skill, I guess this episode play comes with an active skill for high score purposes. And yes, it does. So for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. And of course, life skill gains an S rank life skill. For at the 10 second mark, for 12 seconds, you will uh, have an easier time tapping notes. So pretty useful as a center plate and of course as a live plate as well. So let's see whether it has a special note attached to their episode plate. Sadly to say no, but with stats like this and skills like those, 
this is pretty high on the tier list for Macross Delta uh, so far. So let's take a look at the rest of the four devices and see whether any of them are on par with Freya's. 3550. Hmm. It seems like so far all the Valkyrie members that we've seen have total scores around this range. Are they trying to play fair? I guess so. Um, not the best focus skill, uh, focus stats, um, but it does have a pretty decent amount of boost on voice. So it's uh, I would say it's a mid tier range in terms of assortment for stats. All right, so center skill units voice and charm is boosted by forty five percent up. Uh, it's a double double stat boost. All right, score and up B rank. Oh, this is horrendous. So with five for five seconds, your score is boosted by seventy percent up. Freya is definitely taking a lead. Mikumo's plate is definitely out because the skills are horrendous enough. So <laughs> immediately Mikumo drops below Freya. That's kind of a sad thing if, if it's talking about the diva world placing <laughs> all right so this plate doesn't have any special notes attached to it so immediately in my mind i think uh try to avoid getting mikumo <laughs> all right so kaname 3685 leader kaname takes the lead with the best total score well balanced that's all around pretty nice um, center skill in the Inochi Blue Element Life episode uh, plates total will be boosted by 30% up. Pretty okay center skill. Um, active skill is S rank but it's not meant to be used as a high score purpose. So for 20 seconds you'll have an easier time tapping notes. Life skill score repeat. So this episode plate is meant to be used for long duration songs just like Exia. Um, yeah, so with the best stats out there for the Valkyrie team uh, and of course the life skill support for high score purposes, I think Kaname is on par with Freya as of now. Um, so far we've yet to see any episode plates that might beat them. So let's see. Oh, it comes with an item. Immediately, this itself makes it better than Freya's episode plate. So Kaname is number one. Freya is number two and Mikumo, I don't know, she might be last. So let's take a look at uh, Reina and Makina to see whether their episode plates are any better than Mikumo's. So we have Makina first, 3557, focusing on Soul. And yeah, pretty well balanced stats on voice and charm. Center skills, uh, units total and life is boosted by 20% up. So not the best center skill out there, but I guess let's take a look at the other two skills to see whether it's any better. Oh wow, S rank skills all around. Life recovery 50%. Okay, so Makina's plate is not meant to be used as a center position episode plate, but rather a life skill support. So yeah, score and repeat. So it's a hot element, pink element episode plate meant for long duration songs. Mm, so definitely Makina is on par with Freya in terms of um, useful stats and skills. No, epi no notes attached to it, so I guess it's not Kaname level. <coughs> Alright, so let's move on to Rei Rei and see whether her episode play. Oh, wow! Rei Rei has the best total stats <laughs> compared to Kaname. Ooh, and, and it's all well balanced out, like Dana's bad habit of having the, get, uh, the gacha lineup like this. Uh, it's not really a bad habit, but uh, it can be appreciated. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting way of lining up your episode plates. So, center skill, life, units life is boosted by 20% up. Not meant to be used as a center position episode plate, as you can tell. Uh, life recovery of 30%, and of course, life skills S rank score up. So when you hear score up, it means that this episode plate is meant for short duration songs. So yeah. Um, let's see whether it comes with a special note attached to it. Sadly to say no. So immediately Kaname in terms of ranking is still the number one episode plate you want to pull from here. Uh, Rei Rei and Freya is at number two. Uh, number three would be Makina and of course sadly to say this time round Mikumo takes the bottom of the lineup. So it we have gone through all four Macross generations. Which one do I really recommend you to pull? Um, to, to be honest, Macross Delta wins this one with the best set of episode plates you can pull from. Um, four good episode plates out of five. 
um, followed by Macross Frontier, which is four episode plays out of five. Um, but in terms of rare, um, in usefulness, Macross Delta wins over Frontier. So definitely Macross Delta will be the first gacha you will consider thinking about pulling, followed by Macross Frontier. Uh, Macross 7 would be on the same level of Macross Frontier. So it depends whether you are more of a Macross Frontier fan or Macross 7 fan. Because Macross 7 does have pretty decent um, good tier episode plates out there uh, that belongs to both Basara and well one of them is mixed with Basara in the lane so <laughs> uh, of course Min Mei gets the last place because well her, her plates are not as um, I would say it doesn't have that wow factor as compared to the rest of the Macross series the stats are good on uh, Min Mei's episode plates the skills however are pretty mediocre and you know it depends I, for Min Mei fans, I will not, I will not stop you from pulling her episode plates. Her plates are pretty decent. Uh, the, the the worst plate that you can probably pull out of uh, is SDM Macross is still one out of five, and yeah. So, in terms of, like I said, uh, ranking in terms of the most useful banner, it still belongs to Delta. Uh, SDF, Macross, Macross 7 and Macross Frontier, I would say they are all on the same level of um, you know, usefulness. But in terms of the most safe out of the three, I would say Pool Frontiers, followed by SDF, Macross and of course Macross 7. Macross 7 is pretty risky because two bad episode plates out of five. Uh, and yeah, so that's kind of a risky factor. Um, Macross 7 this time around takes the most risk, but has one of the few better episode plates out there. It's just that it comes with a high risk factor. So with all that said, okay, considering that I have most of Ranka's costumes, I, I think I've unlocked Cheryl's costume. I don't have this costume for Cheryl, but that's just one out of five episode plates. That's kind of a bummer. I don't really want to risk wasting my one single ticket on Macross Frontier's banner. So this time round, I'm passing Macross Frontier. Uh, like I said, Macross 7 is pretty risky. I kind of don't have a lot of their costumes unlocked. I have this particular one unlocked. Um, I have this unlocked as well. I think I have this halfway. And I think I have this unlocked. Because I locked both to, of them together. So one costume, I have this halfway as well. So two costumes out of five. I don't know. I may not want to pull seven. So SDF Macross, Min Mei's costumes, I don't have this one. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. So yeah, I've got most of Min Mei's costumes. So I don't really have to pull SDF Macross. Delta, huh? I have this costume for Freya. I have this unlocked as well. I have this as well. I don't have this unlocked. I have this unlocked. So it's one out of five costumes. But in terms of plate usefulness, oh my goodness, this is so hard to choose. Uh, even though after looking through all the episode plates, do I want to pull for stats? Or do I want to pull for costume points? Uh, okay, this is time. It's time for me to take the challenge. I'm gonna go with my cross seven. I'm taking the risky route. <laughs> uh, wait. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna try and get this episode plate. I don't have this episode plate yet, and uh, I do want to unlock costume for Basara and. Um, I think this one for Milane. Um, so I'm gonna try and hopefully I don't pull the this episode plate and this episode plate of Milane's. I mean I do need this one for the costume point, but the plate is horrendous in terms of stats. So this is this is really pickling. Uh, so it's such a tough decision to make. Oh my goodness! Here we go. It's it's been 40 minutes since I've been rambling about the episode plate. It's time to make a decision. 
And the decision is now. Let's do this, guys. Watch me fail horrendously. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I I don't I don't I hope not to regret what I've just done. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh! I can't touch the screen. Oh, oh! They... Okay, okay. I know it's a guaranteed five star, but please show me something I want. Oh, hey! Wait, no! It is not that plate. Wait, is it that plate? Oh, it's new. Is it that plate? I didn't see the plates. Is it? Uh, wait, which costume point does this belong to? No, it's the one of the worst plates to pull. <laughs> okay, okay, that's kind of sad. Uh, even though I've unlocked the costume, um, it is a brand new episode plate for my collection, so. In a way, kind of happy. In a way, kind of sad. Oh my goodness. This is... this. I don't know. I have really mixed feelings right now about this. But anyway, guys. Uh, hopefully, as usual, you find all the information I shared useful. Or maybe it made you pull out more of your hair because you ended up confused like me. Um, and deciding on which series and which episode plate to try and get. Um, yeah. Now... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna kick back and relax for a bit before making my next Utame Cross video because there's so much to talk about thanks to the uh, version update of zero, uh, 3.00 Oh boy, whew! Okay, well, this is one um, thing off my chest I can finally relax a bit uh, As usual guys, hopefully if you did end up deciding to purchase the Seeing Stove Pad with the ticket uh, I hope you all the best for your gacha pool and of course, you know, it's one of five chance out of whichever banner you pick out from. Hopefully you guys end up with something fantastic and don't end up making a mistake like I did. Well, it's not exactly a mistake, it's my decision but it ended up kind of a downer. So anyway <laughs> guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, uh, do let me know what you guys get if you did actually pull from the um, confirmed 5 star gacha banner that requires the singing stone pack. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like the video if you appreciate all the information I shared. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and I'll see you guys very soon in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!